In a previous video, I showed you how to use the verb make to mean cook or create. In this video, I'll show you other ways to use the verb make. You can make a call. I need to make a phone call. When you meet with a doctor, a dentist, an accountant, a business person, then you make an appointment with that person. She made an appointment with the dentist because she has a toothache. Or when going to a place where you are expected, like an appointment, you can simply use the word it, make it. I made it. And then in this position, the place. I made it to work on time. Or she made her appointment. That means that she she arrived at the appointment on time. If you don't make it on time, then you can say, I didn't make it. Or if you know you're going to be late, you can say, I can't, I can't make it on time. Or if you can't go to a place at all, let's say it's a, uh, a party and you can't go, Simply say, I can't make it. You can also make time. Make time is to find time in your schedule. For example, it's important to make time to be with your family. You don't have to use to be in this example. You could just say, it's important to make time with your family. If you put the word good between make and time, the meaning changes completely. We made good time during our trip. This means that we went someplace very quickly, whether it's by car, bus, or plane. If you make good time, that means that you are moving very quickly. When talking about a salary, we often use make with money. For example, how much money does he make? This question is in the present tense. And the answer is he makes, and then the amount goes right here. He makes $50,000 a year. It's not always necessary to use the word money with make when talking about money. For example, this question is in the past tense. How much did you make? We know that the subject is money and it's not necessary to use the word money. The answer would be I made and then the dollar amount would just go right here. If you make an offer, that means that you want to buy something. For example, a young couple with a baby made an offer on the house next door. This means that they want to buy a house and decided on a dollar amount in the offer they made an offer. If a person gets an area dirty or unorganized, you can use 
make a mess. For example, the little boy made a mess in the kitchen. Or if you come upon a place where people left a lot of garbage, you can say, someone made a mess and didn't clean it up. However, if you make the bed, then you are organizing the place where you sleep by putting the pillows and the sheets and the blankets back together on the bed. Do you make the bed after you wake up in the morning? We also use the verb make with noise. When something is very loud, it makes a noise. My car is making a strange noise. Finally, a lot of my students use the verb make with mistake. The singular would be make a mistake and the plural is make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes when learning English. This would be the plural form or if you use a singular it's okay to make a mistake when learning English.